Hey brother, Bob Gerace here with another episode of the Have It All Marriage for the Have It All Life podcast where your marriage has a 100% chance of success if you do it God's way. So let's talk about another thing, that, that a way that we can get out of God's way and we can actually do it God's way. And what I want to talk about today is the symptom of it seems like your wife gets stuck in these ruts where no matter what you do or what you say, it is never good enough. And it's like she picks one thing and she moves on to the next. And it's the way you eat or the way you talk or the way you snore or the, the, the shoes you left on the floor. And it seems like you're just a, a pinball getting bounced around between these complaints and these criticisms. And all you're trying to do is dig out of this hole. But it's like she's got this invisible wall up. Now, this is not the shutdown wall. This is actually if I had to face one of these two walls, I would rather face this wall, the pinball wall. The, I might even title this podcast that the pinball wall, because as you are being bounced around like a pinball from one complaint to another, she has not checked out. So you're in a better place than if she has shut down. Now, look, man, either one is recoverable. But in the pinball wall situation, it can be incredibly frustrating and it can absolutely lead to the shutdown wall because it grates on your nerves. It, it grinds on you. It's eating you alive. It's like this woman who at some point in your lives together, she couldn't keep her mind or her hands off you and, and you were just Superman. And now all of a sudden you can't brush your teeth right or you can't do the dish right or you can't pick up your shoe right or the things you say, you get this irritation. And so what is this? What is she trying to tell you? What is the girl code behind this? And what I want to tell you is what she's telling you is that she is deeply hurt. She is deeply hurt. And what a lot of people do, and this is not a good behavior, man, but I don't, I don't want you to think for a minute that I'm telling you that your wife is a bad woman, because if you're being honest with yourself, Chances are you do this back to her. You might be less aggressive. You might be more passively aggressive, which is something I didn't understand either. But let's, let's break this down, okay? Hurt people hurt people. Think about that. Hurt people hurt people. And as an ex in this example, I use this a lot of times when I get on a breakthrough call with a new client. Like, there was a time in my life where I was in the seventh grade. And this little boy who was broken by his broken parents, I'm absolutely certain after seeing that movie, The Shack, and if you've never seen the movie, The Shack, go watch it and you'll understand how, how, how hurt people end up hurting people. But th this little boy, the seventh grade little boy, he looked at me and I was telling a story. And as I was telling the story, I was happy and excited. And so I was smiling and I was nodding my, my head and my eyebrows were going up and down. And so as I'm telling this story, the kid looks at me and he's like, look at your race. He's such, he's such a faggot. He's such a faggot. And I mean, to me, it was, it was horribly hurtful. And the guy accused me of, of having boyfriends and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? That, that's just not me. And so I was, I was so hurt by this. But what I ended up doing is I ended up, as Carl Jung would say, I took my smile and I put it in my shadow. And so what that means, and, and Carl Jung says that if you put something in your shadow, it fails to mature. You put bad stuff in there, and that's why you're hurting. You put good stuff in there, and it's why you're not able to connect with your wife. As a little boy, you're taught from two years old to put your ability to connect with other people emotionally in your shadow so you don't get teased like I did. Apparently, I did not get the message, which would be weird because I had a very emotionally abusive father. You think you would have, if anything, you would have taught me that, but apparently I did not, leave, I did not learn that lesson. And so what ended up happening is for decades, I did not smile ever. And I thought the world was a very cold and dark place. And then as I began to do this work on myself, I began to realize and see things for what they were. And so I did an experiment and I started smiling. I was traveling a lot for business. I was smiling at every hotel clerk, every rental car clerk, every ticket taker in the airport. And you know what? They all smiled back. It was a much happier world. But imagine how much doom and gloom I put into the world by not smiling at the millions of people that I'd interfaced with in all of those airports for all of those years and all of those business meetings. And it's like, man, hurt people hurt people. So your wife, when she's in this state, when, when she's constantly hurting you, what she's doing is she's hurting you because you hurt her. And, and, and again, I don't want you to go and, and use this against her and say you're a bad person or a bad woman or a bad wife because I know you're intentionally trying to hurt me. She may not even be intentionally trying to hurt you. A lot of this is subconscious. It's a way I can feel better if I, if I make sure that he understands how bad he made me feel. And so this pattern of hurting you when she's hurt, it's not going to stop until she gets over the hurt. 
once she gets over the hurt, then it will stop. But the cycle that you get into, and this is what takes the pinball wall into the shutdown wall, the cycle that you get into is when she, you didn't mean to hurt her. Oh my gosh, brothers, I'll tell you what, man, this was something that, I mean, I just, my head wanted to explode. How many times has this happened to you where you had no idea what you were saying or doing was going to deeply hurt your wife? And if she were to do the same thing to you, it wouldn't hurt you. And so you're thinking, you know what, man, um, if, 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 like if I'm talking to you and I'm saying, you know, we walk up in, 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 a, in a party situation and say we're business partners and we walk up in a party situation and you're like, hey, I'm Joe. And, and, and you don't introduce me as your partner, as your business partner. I'm not going to get hurt over it. I'm not going to feel like I'm worthless and unloved over it. But I can guarantee you for a lot of the men who are out here, you go into a, a, to a business party and you go up and, and you introduce yourself to someone and you don't immediately not only introduce, but edify your wife in some way, shape or form, even if it's how you look at her as you introduce her or how you say her name, she's quite likely going to be hurt, maybe devastatingly hurt if she was neglected and abused emotionally by her parents and pushed in the corner and made to feel like nothing. And maybe she's an introvert. Maybe, maybe we could go on for hours. But the bottom line is you had no idea it was going to hurt her. If she walked up and introduced herself to someone and didn't say, this is my husband who I love, in whom I am well pleased, or, or just, just looking at you like that as she's saying it, like you would probably just reach your hand out and say, I'm Bob, I'm her husband. But see, the thing is, is like you kick these things off without even realizing you're doing it. You don't mean to do it. And then you come to understand and you come to realize that now your wife is hurting you repeatedly. It's like, OK, so I, I was I was not careful with this knife and I accidentally put a little scratch on you. Does that mean you have to turn it around and just stab and stab and stab and stab? And the answer is, man, for a lot of women out there, the human nature is yes, that's what has to happen. What you need to do to number one get rid of this pinball wall and avoid the next step, which is the shutdown wall where she's just done and she doesn't want to talk to you at all is you've got to heal the underlying hurt. Now, how you're going to heal that underlying hurt, man, like I always say, it's a combination of how you show up and it's a combination of what you say and do and how you show up has got to be a hundred percent congruent with what you are saying and doing. If you walk up to her and you're like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I would never want to hurt you. It would be the last thing I would ever want to do. But your, your body is giving off signals that, and I so deeply resent you for how you had to pay me back on purpose for my unintentionally hurting you. Then your words are going to fall on deaf ears and you're going to drive yourself into the shutdown mode because now you're just being abusive. Man, we could talk for hours here, but I'm not. And this is going to be a short podcast. But what I mean it's like if you keep hurting her and you keep apologizing and you keep doing it, or if you keep hurting her and as you're apologizing, it's clear from your body, the smell of your sweat, your micro expressions, the tone of your voice, the electromagnetic energy on your heart, all of this is telling her, I don't really feel sorry. I think that maybe you're overly sensitive. I think maybe you need to grow up. And by the way, if, if I hurt you accidentally, I think you should give me the benefit of the doubt and cut me some slack because you hurt me accidentally all the time and I just stuff it and suppress it because that's what men are taught to do. So why don't you woman up and be a man or a woman, like, you know, be a woman, like I'm being a man. Like if, if there's any of these thoughts that are like in your head, then your words are abusive. Why? Because it's sending her mixed signals. It's sending her these signals that you're saying what she wants to hear, but you don't believe what you're saying. And your words sometimes can draw her a little bit closer and then she gets hurt again and draw her out of pinball shutdown and, 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 and out of pinball wall and, and then you're hurting her again. And so if you're continually drawing her in and hurting her, if you can't stop it, if you can't fix it, if you can't make this stop, then apologizing and even if you say all the right words, it's not only unhelpful, it's abusive and it leads to the shutdown wall. I hope you understand that. And so how to show up as that man is way beyond the scope of this podcast. But what I want to tell you is you've got to start working on building this frame of certainty around your ability to generate the emotions you need. And they've got to be real, brother. I'm not talking about being, you know, the best actor in the world and acting these feelings because I'm talking about your body actually giving off the signals that you are 
man, there's this incredible woman who, who was a wife of one of the men who went through the program, who of course won his wife back. And, and as he got her talking, she wrote this letter and it was so articulate. And one of the phrases that she used, and it's a mouthful, but I want you to maybe think about it, maybe play this back over, maybe write down this sentence and, and pray over it and meditate on it and really let it sink in. Because what she said is, as you are talking to me, your felt emotions as expressed on the outside of your body were saying the opposite of your words. Think about that, man. This is, this is an articulate woman. This is an intelligent woman. This is an amazing writer of a woman who could actually, actually crystallize this and, and get this in her head and be so cognitive of what was going on and then, and then immortalize it in these words. But I'm going to say it again, as you were speaking with me, your felt emotions as expressed on the outside of your body were saying something completely different. That is where your wife lives. Your felt emotions as expressed on the outside of your body must be saying the same thing you are saying with your mouth. And, and, and brothers, I know this is very difficult when you're angry, when you're hurt, when you're resentful, when you're scared, when you're in uncertainty, when, 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 when all you want to do, everything inside is, and, and you've got it too, man, is, is I want to lash out. I want to hurt her. I want to hurt her back because I'm hurt. Like hurt people, hurt people. You've got to break the cycle, man. You've got to lead. You've got to figure out how to fix that inside yourself. And when you fix that inside yourself, you can lead her to a place where she can fix it inside herself. And I promise you, man, get this right. Have that kind of marriage. And what you're going to find is you never face the pinball wall again. You never face this symptom where everything you do is wrong and everything you say is wrong and how you breathe and how you eat and how you sleep and how you dress and how you whatever. It, 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 you never face that again. But until you figure this out, you're going to continue to face that over and over and over. And so if you want help, with how do you figure all of this out? I want you to go to www.realmanrevolution.com, www.realmanrevolution.com, where we have helped over 2,500 men to solve this problem. I'll see you on the other side.